I'm excited about street food. I mean, it allows us to explore the multicultural, you know, sensorial richness that our country has to offer. My favorite has to be Bray Flays. Yo, I love me a chusanyama. Just a ch 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 And a chakalak on the side. Ah, please, 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 you've won. <laughs> Arthur, so we're going to be making samosas, which is really one of my favorite street foods as well. The nice thing about it is the multitude of fillings that you can enjoy mm -hmm. in it. Mm. I love, 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 love samosas. The first one is a pulchered samosa. Mm. Now, I've prepared some yellow lentils. I've cooked it down actually with the juice of the pulchards, oh. together with a bit of water. I've added some ginger, turmeric, spinach, and then we cooked it down. I'm going to add some curry leaves. I think the nice thing about pilchas is that it's very economical and yeah. I haven't had pilchas in a samosa so for me I'm really excited about this. I think uh, pilchas are completely underutilized. Mm. You know, you can use it for so many different things and I think in a samosa the flavors goes in there then you can still talk dipping, you know, that, that's mm. another sort of flavor that you mm. can add. Okay, so Arthur, if you can just pull off our curry leaves and then just uh, chop the coriander for us, cool. please. I often cook with pilchers, I do it with rice, I do it with pap, I do it with pasta. I think it's a versatile ingredient and it's quick. I've got some cream here, fresh cream. The, the cream is really just to balance all those flavors. General rule when it comes to samosas, yeah. try and make your filling nice and dry, eh, Arthur? It smells good, eh? Yes, it does. I've never had a pilchard samosa ever. We're learning in this masterclass. So this uh, filling will cook away that moisture a little bit more and then we can move on to the next one because we're making samosas three ways. Oh, oh wow. That's nice. Thanks. Abundance, yeah. abundance. Yeah. <laughs> Your three kinds of samosas, we are in for a treat today. I absolutely love Moroccan flavors. So we're doing a lamb samosa. So we fried off the onions, we added some garam masala, some ginger, some garlic, and then some lamb mince. Here we have some saffron. Beautiful. Quite bougie. Yes. Very um, bougie. But you know, that's why we do these things. Yeah. Arthur, we're adding some of the cool apricots. I love apricots. So it will pair very well with the Moroccan. It's classic. Yeah, it's yeah. classic, classic sort of lamb tagine yeah. flavors. Mm. Okay. Okay, saffron. I've got some water here. Some chopped tomatoes. Oh, okay. This is an expensive samosa. Yeah, I know. <laughs> very. Samosa that went to Stellenbosch. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, if you can mash some of the cool apricots mm. and then the, a few of that you can just sort of chop up so we have a bit of texture. I never thought I could do that with a knife. Just on the side, yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. All Look right. at you. Look at the technique. Plan something today. Mm. Is that enough? Yeah. Mash once. Let me once. put that in there quickly. Mm. Okay. Let me get on with the chopping. What are we adding more into? Yeah. Okay, let's do a chefy thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> We're adding some honey for sweetness. Ras al -anut. it's a Moroccan spice. So it's got cardamom, it's paprika, coriander seeds, quite a lot of ingredient, cumin, and chili. Ras al hanout. Ras al hanout. You? <laughs> I've never heard of it. I've learned a lot about spices. So many things that I knew what it is, but I didn't know what they called it in their authentic names, you know, like the Moroccan spice rub. I didn't know what it's called. I just called it the Moroccan spice rub. Okay, so our last filling, we've got some uh, potatoes was boiled. We uh, braised some onions with some garam masala and some turmeric. Uh, we added curry leaves to that and the uh, cool whole kernel corn. And I'm adding some green chilies. Ooh, Ooh, spice. Spice. Hot. And for that flavor. We've got our flour paste. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna just uh, smear a little bit at the bottom there. Okay. And then you're gonna start rolling. People are waiting. Our street food cafe is not gonna last long. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it up one. Yeah. You're creating the pocket now, okay? So do I bring it back? Yeah. Over the paste. Uh, let's go for the lamb. Okay. Oh, look at the nice pocket, guys. Mm. Yeah. Well done, Ava. So do okay, I just, now keep, just rolling? keep on rolling and then towards the end, we're going to put some more of our, our paste on. I think I'm doing a good job so far, guys. Nice one, Arthur. Okay. Yes. Come on. Look at that. Hey, hey Arthur, today, I was taking his job seriously. Did you say those, those samosas are perfect triangles? Oh. Arthur, okay, so uh, you've got um, four times three to go still. Okay. Oh, seems like a lot of work. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm kidding. We can't wait that long. Oh, so yes. we've uh, fried off a few, but you can continue out there. 
I mean, ah. I didn't know about this. <laughs> oh, I love samosas. It definitely has to be like Devon curry, chicken curry, or maybe cheese and corn. Yeah, those, those are my top three. Okay, let's serve it up in our little takeaway container. Okay, there's some dipping uh, sauces. We have some yogurt with dill, some sweet chili, and then we have some chutney with coriander. Ooh, one, two, three, and let's <laughs> dip. <laughs> The samosas are so delicious. The filling is not dry, like as you get with most samosas. The pastry is nice and crunchy. It's golden. It's perfectly cooked. The lamb, mm. it's spicy. The Moroccan lamb samosa is absolutely amazing. Match made in heaven. The lentils I give it is so the creaminess. Mm. But it doesn't take away the flavor of the poultries. Mm. <laughs> and then a little heat. Mm. Steam coming out of my ears. Mm -hmm. I'm going in Morocco. I feel like the cinnamon is this warm spices, but it's fresh. It's so delicious. It's like in your mouth, and you bite again. There's something different. And you do it, and you're like, oh, this is so good. Yeah.